Is there any hope for the future of hip hop being anything like its predecessors? Will we ever see a group as dynamic and groundbreaking as NWA or have someone as charisma with the charisma of Eazy E or the talents of a Dr. Dre that lasts forever and bring you beats by Dre? Or the power of the lyrics from Ice Cube, No Vaseline, to changing the whole entire world with Cube Entertainment making some movies like Friday. It's all about the Benjamins. And just giving us people that we will never forget. Would there ever be a time in hip hop that we see true lyrics? Again, that come from this generation where 50% of the rappers don't even care about rapping. They just want to get paid. <laughs> they give a fuck less what you think about their rapping skills. Because today, don't require no skills to be a rapper. All you need is a look and, will, and you just be willing to sell your soul. And hey, you get a million dollar contract right now. Oh, and you probably have to do some gay rituals. But let's get on to this article. <laughs> now, the Wu-Tang Clan has pretty much changed the game. We would never see a group like the Wu-Tang Clan, probably ever. Uh, the Wu-Tang consists of like 100 members, and everybody could rap. Like, legit everybody could rap. It wasn't no mumble shit. It was r true lyrics. It was people with different cadence, different styles, and they actually ushered in a lot of the East Coast styles that you see now. Uh, after Wu-Tang, you see Mob Deep, you see Sons of Man, you saw all of these different groups that emerged um, worldwide, pretty much. Now, most of the time, kids are nothing like their fathers. But this seems to be the second generation of Wu-Tang. And the link for this article will be in the description. Now, according to Hip Hop Wired, the second generation Wu revives the classic Wu-Tang Clan sound with 7OD. Now, you're looking at the second generation of the Wu-Tang Clan, and I'll let you guess who is who. Whose sons is this, son? <laughs> so, alright, the Wu-Tang has this legacy firmly cemented as evidenced by the group's recent 25th anniversary world tour celebration and continuing projects such as the hit show on the Hulu Hula Network. Hulu Network. Now, four sons of the legendary Shaolin Schwarzman are claiming their stake in a greater WTC landscape at second generation Wu. Their debut single, 7 O D. Prize of You God's Son Intel, Method Man Son Power, and featuring Ghostface Killer Son, Son Guy, and the late ODB's Young Dirty Bastard Second Generation Woo. Certainly captures, captures the feel of the Woo over the track from JoJo, Pellegrini, and Jay Glaze, which takes elements of the classic Cream single. Now, the beauty of the song is that each of the second generation Woo members present themselves as their own man, no doubt honoring the path laid before them. Opening with the aggressive bars of power and sun god, the young dirty will some of his late fathers while energy yet still contains it. While Intel closes out the cut with confidence. So get your hoodies and boots ready and you rock this one. Salute to second generation Woo. Now that entire song is right down here. You click on the link and you can't hear it. You know, I can't play it for copyright reasons, but let me tell you this. I was probably one of the biggest Wu-Tang Clan fans ever. I bought all the CDs, everybody's solo joints, and I listened to this track and it did instantly hit me with that cream. As soon as the track came on, uh, everybody got their own different style on this joint and my thing is i want more i want to hear more because you talking the son of method man you talking the son of ghostface killer 
you got. So they got some real big shoes to fill. Now to outdo their fathers, <laughs> that will be yet to be seen. But hey, we are wishing, hoping, and praying that we can get to a time where it was a, a battle rap thing on, on wax where members love rapping so much until you you almost got like it was a competition between you know group members on wax because they went at it so hard bar for bar but uh you know what i mean i'm glad to see something original coming back and hey we could just remember what they always said Wu-Tang Clan ain't nothing to fuck with. Like this video, leave your comment, share it on YouTube, Facebook, and subscribe later.